Hey guys, what's going on? It's Leo. Uh, so I've got a pretty exciting uh, AMC update from a technical standpoint uh, today. Uh, as you, I'm going to go ahead and jump back to the chart that was in the last video so I can start from there and kind of update y'all as far as what I'm looking at. So go ahead and jump over. So, you know, I was kind of I was looking at it as a W, X, Y, X, Z, because we do have a lot of these, this three wave structure coming in here. So that initially led me to believe that we're in some sort of a sideways combination because in sideways combinations, you essentially just have ABC, 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 um, that type of structure. So I was under the assumption that we had finished this trend and then we would be moving higher. Um, there's a lot of confluence within this $30 to $25 range that this is going to be roughly where the bottom of this correction is going to be. Uh, but what I don't like is this move down. I don't, I don't like it for this count. Um, it becomes much less likely that the bottom is in just because we have, this looks a lot more like an ABC up correction rather than a one, two, one, because now you've, you've broken this one and that's certainly not a third wave so uh, this I would say is is invalidated at this point so I'm gonna go ahead and update y'all as far as what I believe it is it's significantly more bullish than the last chart there's a lot of confluence for it so I really like this count so uh, what I like to do whenever I'm a uh, little bit puzzled as to what's going on within the price action is I just strip my chart bare clean and I start completely new. So what this looks like at first glance is an ABC, right? So I started there, you know, I counted out my waves and then I, we get to this structure and it starts looking very three wavy. And what I mean is you get an ABC, ABC, ABC. And so what that tells me is that we are in a uh, ending diagonal for the fifth wave here is uh, hopefully y'all can see that. I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter. There you go. So we have a one, two. So then I measure out my projection. And you can see that most likely target for a third wave is a 618, which we do hit almost exactly. So there's some good confluence. I like that. Uh, then we put in a four wave. We come down. And uh, going back to I talked about the rule of alternation, basically saying that if you see a slow sideways move within your second wave, you're going to get a sharper correction within your four. That's demonstrated there. That's uh, just a rule with an Elliott wave or more of a guideline rather than a rule. Um, so then we come down, uh, and this is the one part about this count that I don't like. This is a very impulsive move down, but the reason I'm making an exception for that, because I don't really see a three wave structure there. Because in an ending diagonal, it should be three, 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 and three for all of all five of the waves. I do remember that this was a very methodical move down from hedge fund manipulation. So there is probably a third wave in here somewhere. It's just it's they're constantly shorting it, and so you just don't really see that. That's kind of the assumption that I'm operating under. I'm bending the rules here a little bit with Elliott Wave Theory, but it's based on the manipulation I was able to go in there and show you all in one of my past videos as far as how they were just very methodically selling with their algorithms all the way down there. Uh, and then they have exhausted themselves. And so now we've moved into this. Essentially what an ending diagonal is, is it shows trend exhaustion. The shorts are running out of steam. And it becomes, it, it turns into this contraction, contracting uh, triangular type pattern that ultimately ends in a big reversal, very strong reversal. So if we're coming in here, we get our one wave, then we go ABC into the two, ABC to the three, ABC to the four, and now we're working on the fifth, and then it should be done. Uh, if we take a step back and look at some larger confluence, what we can see is if I measure out, and then remember these are the algorithms that the computers use, uh, ins uh, insurance companies use, all these people that trade markets uh, typically have one of these algorithms running that's, that's trading this. So if we just pull that overall uh, move, we get a big sell at the 50. Uh, you can't really see it here, but the bar, candle body bars stop right at the 50. It wicks through it, but then it gets immediately rejected. That's what you look at whenever you see a candle wick, is that's showing you 
how much that candle, that price action is getting rejected at that price. So then what we have is we have a target of the negative 236, which is down here where in that area of where we're going to be seeing the ending diagonal end. That would be the, done, the finish point and then we'd launch. Uh, we can also get some more confluence by taking a look at, uh, on this chart it doesn't show it, but on uh, TD Ameritrade in the after hours it did trade up for the all-time high at 77 and 30 cents. So that's where I'm going to be starting here, uh, right there. So I measure down the A leg and I project it from the B leg. And as you can see, that brings us right around that same level for a 100% projection, measuring the A from the B. So I'm projecting out and measuring where the C leg will end, which most likely is around 100%. So we have the ending diagonal ending around the 100%. We have the negative 236 target ending around the 100%. We have a low volume node, which means that most likely prices are going to turn there. Um, there's a lot of confluence in this area. So this is why I like the count. As a trader, that's what you want to look for. You don't want to just see divergence and be like, oh, it's going to turn around because it's most likely not, it'll keep running. So you want to see multiple layers of confluence telling you that something's going to happen. So as you can see here, we're already starting to get a little bit of a reversal candle. So that could be the start of the B leg. And I mean, that could last a few days or so uh, before it comes down to here. Um, the next thing I want to look at uh, for validating an ending diagonal is you want to make sure that if I measure the length of the one wave from the two, you want to make sure that the third is shorter than the one. And so it is. It does come up shy of the 100%. So that uh, gives us a little bit more validation. Uh, another telltale sign of an ending diagonal is decreasing volume. So you can notice here overall, um, we do get these volume spikes, but overall volume has been decreasing throughout the, the ending diagonal. And that's one of the, the signs that you want to look for for validation. So to validate the ending diagonal, you know, it, it, it's from a measurement standpoint, it's abiding by all the rules in Elliott wave theory, how uh, third wave needs to be shorter. We have the three, three, three structure. Um, we have the decreasing volume. Um, it, it looks very good. It looks very possible that this is the count we're dealing with. Um, we won't really know until it's completely played out and it gets a little bit tighter. Uh, and it'll be very obvious, but this is uh, about as early as you can get um, for kind of confirming that you're in an ending diagonal because you, your termination points, sorry about that, uh, your termination points are going to be between your two and your four legs, which we do have, and then we have our one and our three. Um, you know, obviously it's not completely confirmed until it plays out, but this is about as close as you're going to get to confirming it beforehand. So what I would expect once we finish out this move is we would get that five wave structure that I was talking about in the prior video, what I was expecting here. I'm still looking for that once we put in this fifth of the ending diagonal, we get one, two, three, four, five. Um, but it's very likely that's going to be a big, strong move up. So bullish, very bullish on uh, AMC, although I can't give financial advice or... Uh, uh, and I'm not a financial advisor, uh, this is for entertainment and whatnot, but uh, very bullish. It's looking good. Uh, a lot of good things are happening behind the scenes from what I understand. So um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and keep you all updated. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Thanks. Take care.